I'm Carrie Byron. Get set for an extra special head rush. Today we're on board with the latest and greatest robots and the best young robot minds in America. We're going to the first robotics championship in St. Louis, Missouri. This event is the robotic championship of America's schools. Over 500 teams competing in four levels of competition in a battle of the bots. The event involves students nine years old all the way through 18. Each level performs increasingly difficult degrees of robotic skills while racing the clock. So come along for the ride. Thanks, Gary. Here we are in St. Louis, Missouri for the first robotics challenge where thousands of kids from the U.S. and internationally have come to pit their robotic skills over the next three days. Yeah. Judging by the level of excitement, the next few days should be amazing. One of the country's most creative thinkers, Dean Kamen, the genius who invented the Segway, created the first competition back in 1991 when this robot took the inaugural prize. We've got to start celebrating science and technology and engineering and entrepreneurship and risk taking and trying to innovate. And first is nothing but a microcosm of the real world. Okay, so what is first? It's an acronym for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. And here, Students get to showcase their awesome robot designs and have fun in the process. They call it uh, a varsity sport for the mind. What makes it really different from uh, other sports is that, you know, you go to a basketball competition and there's a lot of who's better and, you know, who can get to the top, who can win. But here it's a lot of more about who can learn from each other, uh, all of this cooperation that happens. The competition is fierce. The teams are time crunched. They are each given the same basic kit. So you get a kit of parts and it has a couple of motors, some wire, um, not much else, and that's enough to build at least a robot. So you don't have to buy anything else. We just connected this, right? The teams can consult a mentor and can add extra parts to their robot within strict parameters. If you want to make some changes to your robot, make it a little bit fancier, you get a $3,000 budget. And they also restrict some of the parts you can use. You're only allowed to put like, you know, four or five motors in your robot, making it sort of a reasonably level playing field so everyone has a chance to compete. The robots are ready. The teams are pumped. Tomorrow's the first day of serious competition. Bring it on. I've picked three teams to follow over the next three days to see how they'll handle the pressure of this red hot competition. We're here with the Hot Team 67 from Michigan. They're 2009 and 2010 winners of the international competition in first robotics. Luckily, so the past years, I've been able to see those two machines I helped build become world champions. So it's just, it's a great feeling. We have 50 kids on our team now, and they're all just getting involved because they're like, oh, wow, they keep winning. Winning this event means becoming world robotics champions. And to do that means dealing with pressure, and lots of it. It's day two in St. Louis, and everyone's pumped for the start of the real competition. First, there's an opening ceremony followed by a special event, Dean Kamen versus Will I Am. This should prove to be an excellent day. Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas is a huge fan of FIRST. He's here to look, to learn, to inspire, and to be inspired. Today, Will puts his star power behind these guys who take on Dean's team in a pre-game playoff. With Will's team victorious, it's time for the main event. I'm following three teams, the Space Cookies, the Techno Ticks, and the Hot Team. Like all teams in this senior league, they have to abide by a set of rules. Let me walk you through the scoring process for FIRST Robotics. First, each robot has to hang an inner tube on a pole autonomously. That means totally hands off for humans. The instant that's done, the team jumps on joysticks and takes control. Every tube on the pole scores points. But the highest points are scored if the teams can place tubes that make up the shape of the first logo. A triangle, a circle, and a square. 
30 seconds from the end is the critical moment, deploying a mini-bot to shimmy up a pole to gain maximum points. In just two minutes, that's an awesome display of robot power. We're back. At the first robotics championship in St. Louis, it's crunch time for the remaining teams. The space cookies and the techno ticks are out of the competition. But our last team, the hot team from Michigan, is still in and they've got a great chance. They are the current two times world champions. Can they make it three in a row? Andrew Hendricks is out there to see if they can take the trophy. It's getting down to the wire and team 67 out of the teams we've been following, the hot team is now gunning for the finals. This is it. It's now or never for the hot team. This round, it's winner take all. They're one win away from the finals. It's the autonomous section, and hot scores immediately. They're looking good with tube after tube. logo after logo. They've got just 20 seconds to launch the mini-bot. It's down to the wire. But the opposition's too strong. They move on to the finals. And the hot team is out. played us, we did our best, and there's not much more we could have done. The hot team won't be champions again this year, but win or lose, they see every year as a learning curve. Building-wise, I think we're always going to be making strong robots, but emotional-wise, I think the whole team got stronger. Well, it's been an emotional roller coaster. The last team we've been following, the Hot 67 team, unfortunately did not make it into the finals, but they're looking forward to next year, and what doesn't kill you is gonna make you stronger. As these contestants tell me, there's much more to this event than just the competition. In the end, we're all working towards the same goal of getting people involved in science and technology, so it's not just about one team succeeding. There's really nothing else that can really compare to just the sheer excitement and energy that like, exudes from this crowd, awesome. It can just change the way you see yourself as a leader, as a team member, um, as a communicator. It challenges kids to be innovative and create something they've never created before. We don't get this chance all the time. I feel someone in this room today even possibly could make the next big invention for like maybe space. A tall order? Well, Dean Kamen wants to make it possible. Well, that's it for FIRST Robotics 2011. There's a swarm of kids that are excited and enthusiastic and saying that they're going to be back bigger and better next year. Back to you, Carrie. Thanks, Andrew. That was so awesome. Congratulations to everyone participating in this year's event. 